Understanding Pushing Mongo, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're diving into a unique phrase, pushing mongo. It's a term that's not commonly used in everyday English, but it has its place in specific contexts. Stick around to learn what it means and how you can use it. Pushing mongo originates from the world of skateboarding. In skateboarding, mongo refers to a particular way of pushing the skateboard with one's foot. Typically, a skateboarder pushes with their back foot, but in Mongo, the skateboarder uses their front foot. This style is often viewed as unorthodox or less balanced. In a broader sense, pushing Mongo can be used metaphorically. It implies doing something in an unconventional or awkward manner. It's akin to saying someone is going about a task in a way that's not typical or generally accepted. However, it's worth noting that this usage is quite rare and mostly limited to contexts where the listeners are familiar with skateboarding lingo. To give you a better understanding, let's look at some examples. 1. He's pushing Mongo with his project approach, but surprisingly, it's working. 2. In the business world, their strategy is like pushing Mongo, effective but unconventional. Notice how in these examples, pushing Mongo describes a method that's effective but not standard. It's important to use pushing Mongo in the right context. Since it's jargon from skateboarding, it's best used among people who are familiar with the sport or in informal settings where playful and creative language is appreciated. It's not suitable for formal or professional environments. And that's a wrap on pushing Mongo. Remember, language is filled with interesting phrases like this, each with its own background and usage. I hope this video helps you understand and perhaps even use pushing Mongo in your conversations. Happy learning and see you in the next video.